Planning a visit to Rome? The Eternal City is packed with beautiful monuments, grand buildings, and magnificent attractions. So this is why we've produced dozens of videos which will help you plan your time in Rome. But first, let's start with Rome's top 10 must-visit places. Starting with the Vatican. The smallest country in the world, with a population around 800 people, is also one of the biggest tourist destinations in the world. It could well take you a full day to explore all the treasures this complex holds. So it might be a good idea to avoid the long lines by pre-booking your tickets. You should also obey the dress code or else you will not be allowed to enter, so be sure to cover your shoulders and knees. Next, let's head to the Trevi Fountains. Mainly remembered for the iconic scene from Fellini's movie La Dolce Vita, this is the biggest Baroque fountain in the city, rising 26 meters high and 49 meters wide. According to legend, if you throw a coin into the fountain, you'll return to Rome once more. Just make sure you use your right hand. Don't miss the Trevi Fountains illuminated at night, as this out-of-scale fountain is even more impressive after dark. Learn more about Rome's nightlife in our special video guide at vidtour.com. Our third must-see attraction is the Pantheon, one of Rome's oldest buildings still standing. It was originally built in 118 AD, and according to legend, it was built at the exact same place that Rome's founder Romulus was buried. Its original purpose was a worship place for Roman pagan gods, but no one knows exactly how they performed their ceremonies, as this temple doesn't look like any other Roman temple. In fact, the famous Michelangelo felt it was built by angels rather than human beings. No wonder then, it became the most imitated building in the ancient world. Moving to another ancient landmark, it's the Roman Forum, located right at the heart of the ancient city that ruled the world for a thousand years. Here, you could find Rome's most important public buildings, and the top sites include the Ark of Titus, the Temple of Saturn and Vesta, and the Church of San Luca in Martina. The entrance tickets to the Forum include a visit to the Colosseum, so check vidtour.com to watch additional guides for all of the top attractions in the Eternal City. Our next attraction is the Piazza Navona, which is probably the most beautiful square in Rome, surrounded with many restaurants and ice cream shops. The piazza also presents three different fountains. The most important one is the Fountain of Four Rivers. Designed by Bernini, the fountain shows four figures which represent the Nile, the Ganges, the Danube, and Rio de la Plata. Another worthwhile attraction in the piazza is the St. Ignisi Church, which is considered to be one of the most important Baroque masterpieces of the city. The next must-visit place is the District of Trastevere. This area is the international district of the city since Roman days, and even today, this area attracts most of the foreigners who've made Rome their home. What makes this area so special is not only the extraordinary monuments, but its unique atmosphere. Unlike other districts in the city, Trastevere is a safe and friendly neighborhood day and night. Looking for a place to eat or drink? Check Piazza Santa Maria, which is a popular gathering place. Attraction number four is Testaccio, named after the eighth hill of Rome which is actually an artificial man-made hill. Stretching along the Tiber River, this area is all about the authentic vibe of modern Rome. It is also the place to find the supporter club for the city's football club, AS Roma. Testaccio is packed with great restaurants and bars, popular among locals, making it a perfect area for a great night out. Check our video guide about Rome's nightlife for more ideas about an evening out in Rome. 
Should you feel overwhelmed and exhausted by all that sightseeing, you could head to our number three attraction, Villa Borghese, the largest public park in the city. The park is located only minutes away from the Spanish Steps and Piazza del Popolo. Villa Borghese is also called the Park of the Museums, as it is home for several of them. Galleria Borghese, which has a collection of sculptures and paintings from artists like Raphael and Bernini, is one of them. Other museums in the park include Galleria Nazionale and Mazzio Nazionale Etusco, which presents pre-Roman objects. Next to the park, you can find our next landmark, the elegant Via Veneto. For those who love shopping, Via Veneto has been considered for years to be the most expensive shopping street in Rome. If shopping is not your thing, you might want to enjoy some coffee at one of the many cafes along the street or walk towards Piazza Barberini to view the Fountain of Triton, designed by Bernini, and to visit the fascinating Capuchin Church and its crypt decorated with the bones of 4,000 monks. And finally, our last must-visit attraction is one of the world's most famous buildings, the Colosseum. It is a very popular tourist destination, so expect long lines in peak seasons and weekends. Our tip is to plan your visit in the late afternoon hours, which are less busy. This amazing amphitheater used to successfully host 55,000 Romans who enjoyed the competitions between slaves and prisoners. The shows used to run one by one until the ground became too soaked with blood. There is much more to say about Rome, so make sure you visit us at vidtour.com to find more free video guides about the Eternal City.